Hello, my name is Casey Kasten from Advanced Test Equipment Rentals and today I'm going over introduction to the new Enritsu MWA2119 Alpha PIM Tester. So right now I'm going to take out all the required equipment for a setup, the calibration of the unit, and all the equipment needed to do a PIM test. This tray right here which contains PIM standards you have low PIM adapters if necessary. You have your clean equipment. And when testing PIM, it's extremely vital to have a clean connection, clean connection and a tight, tight connection also to avoid um, interference in the system and to avoid any possible PIM. And we also have it's our low PIM mode. It has a female in. There's a female in. And you also have your mail in. This tray comes out. And you have your armored low pin interconnect cable. And an adjustable wrench. And you have torque wrench. And also here is a smaller torque wrench. Okay, I'm going to show you a few key features of the Enritsu MWA2119 Alpha PIM Tester. It has the capabilities of providing an output level from 25 dBm up to 46 dBm, approximately 40 watts. Also, it is completely portable with uh, the battery life of over two and a half hours. When you receive your Enritsu MWA2119 Alpha and after you do the initial boot up, it is best to perform a uh, application self-test and a system self-test to ensure that everything is working properly and no, no, nothing was damaged in uh, shipping. So, going to go to shift system, going to press self-test, everything passes, this is good. I'm going to do my application self-test, verify the software is properly working correctly. Okay, I'm going to show you how to change your display depending on your environmental conditions. Okay, we are shift system, bring your system settings, system options, and then display. You change your display to, this is the default, black, blue, blue screen, also you can change it to black on white, if you want to, if you're going to be out, out in the bright day, out in the sun, and you want to be able to view your screen a lot better, this will be suitable for that condition. You have night vision, which if you're making tests out in the field at nighttime, this will be extremely, extremely handy for that. I'm going to connect my. Uh, low PIM armored interconnect cable to the output of the test port. Sure, yeah. Push it down. Going to have my PIM standard 910 megahertz at negative 80 dBm. going to connect it before I torque these down. I'm going to make sure it's connected. After we have made the proper connection, we have our connect cable, interconnect cable torqued down to your test output port. Then we have your negative 80 dBm PIM standard along with your low PIM load in series. And you're going to hit Start calibration. And it's going to be on screen prompts telling you to, to exactly what to connect and disconnect. So we have our native AD DBM PIM standard. And then we have our low PIM termination onto the PIM standard. Press enter to calibrate.
Okay, the next step two, is telling you to remove the PIM standard and the low PIM termination from the test port and then reconnect only the low PIM termination. All right, step two of the self calibration process was to remove the known uh, PIM standard before between the uh, interconnect cable and the uh, termination. The step by step prompts will tell you to do that. Remove that. Now we have our uh, low PIM termination currently connected to the end of the test port cable. And we'll finish the complete calibration. Enter. So that that is the uh, the end of our self calibration. We can now continue on to take pin measurements. Box. So I'm going to connect to this, but I'm going to leave it somewhat loose so that we can actually see the variables in pin. Should be all right. Okay, so um, right now I'm going to do this, do my test. So going to do measure on. So right now you can see our fluctuations with PIM. It's all over the place. So I'm going to turn this off. So that now that we have taken our measurement, I'm going to show you the process of actually saving this measurement. So there's a button on the screen when you're in the measurements mode. You go back to the measurements, click on save measurement. This bring up this screen to this, save your file and where you would, would like to save it. We're just going to do a generic enter. Now it's successfully saved file to NRC memory. Now I'm going to do the process of recalling that file. So it's going to be shift, file, going to hit recall, and go down to the measurement we previously took, quick name one, and here we go. Our, our measurement is back on the screen again. Going to go distance to PIM. Now, distance to PIM will tell you approximately in, in feet how much. So, right now we have our setup for at starting at zero feet and then our stop distance at 30 feet. Yeah, what do you want this? Okay. I'm going to turn my measurement on. RF on. That's taking the measurement. There is a uh, percentage along the bottom telling you how much has approximately completed. I'm going to put a marker on here to show us approximately where we are seeing. All right, here we go. And we see approximately 8.45 feet.